StarCast 5, presented by CarShield, July 29th to 31st in Nashville, Tennessee at the Nashville Fairgrounds. Loaded with stage shows including Renee Paquette's Sessions with the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, Soraya, Turning the Page, The Horsemen reunite on stage for one last ride, and Bret Hart's look back at 30 years later on his SummerSlam Classic. And of course, StarCast will be capped off by Ric Flair's Last Match. Follow the story leading up to the last match over at RicFlair'sLastMatch.com. Tickets and information available at StarCast.com. So is it just me, or is this show more of a slog and more of a chore to get through every week now? Yes. The answer wow. is yes. Yeah. Like, I don't know how ter- I call it a slog. It, it's, it's not it's a literally a, show. It's a one-hour show, dude. A slog right. is a three-hour program. Well, that's that's fair. That's very fair. But we, we when this show debuted, the first like six months, maybe a year or so even, we always talk about how great it was, how quick and, e- quick and easy watch, and it was over before you know it. These days, about the 40-minute mark, I start checking my clock, and uh, it goes on from there. Yeah, about the wow. halfway, about the halfway mark. What I thought was the halfway mark, I, you know, checked the time and and fourteen minutes had elapsed. <laughs> wow, that's even harsher than so, I am. I'm, I'm very burned out right now. So, yeah. that's probably why. Well, we open with Butcher and Blade versus John Silver and Hangman Page. Well, you know, this didn't really help. Now, did it? You know, mm-hmm. Hangman was a uh, very popular and successful world champion of this company for <laughs> months at a time. You'd think putting him in the opener would like help liven things up, make it seem important, but he just comes off now like another guy. He does not come off like one of their top stars at all. So they had a little bit of time. Uh, also, it doesn't help that in the, in the opener, we go to commercial three minutes in. I don't understand how this works, whose fault this is, but this show's three minutes old. I, why do you need a commercial break right now? But in that three minutes... You know what's funny, by the way, about that, Vinny? This show, when it began, back when uh, people were raving about this show, I seem to recall that the first segment would always go like 20 minutes before we got a commercial. Yes. This is like a new thing where it's like three minutes commercial. And I don't really know why. I don't know what... uh, you know, they don't think that they don't analyze everything. Uh, there must be some sort of reason for it. But I know that as a as a fan... I mean, I don't get it. I, I, I'd like to watch the show for a while before I'm interrupted for this, uh, you know, regularly scheduled announcement. Now, what's funny is in that three minutes, we actually may have had more stuff happening than in any one fall of the Briscoe's FTR match of the pay-per-view. In three minutes, we had a shine, a heat, a hot tag, and a second heat, and then a commercial break. So after the break, we had a hot tag number two. Which, even though Silver's making a comeback, it leads to his own partner, Hangman, also making a comeback. And eventually, the Butcher is double teamed and pinned with the Buckshot Lariat. There was some cool stuff going on. It was basically an eight minute highlight reel with a lot of it during the commercial and absolutely no story at all. Well, you know, I do like this team of, uh, of the Meat Man and the Hangman. I do think they are a good team. I think that John Silver does great comebacks and. You know, he's he's sort of a little bit lost right now if you if you're paying attention to Hangman, but he's a great baby face and the people love him and Butcher and Blade are a, a nice solid team. So I don't have any problem with the match. I mean, it we've been talking about for for weeks now, the the show feeling like it's 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 no longer a can't miss show at all. Oh, that's right. And sure. when when it's the Butcher and the Blade versus the Hangman and uh John Silver I mean, right off the bat, I don't, I don't envision the show doing much of a number on Friday night. Uh, no disrespect to anybody in this match, but the only star here was Hangman Page, and he didn't do anything. I mean, this match meant nothing, and they didn't follow up with uh, with the Dark Order uh, extending love to the Butcher. They didn't uh, follow up on that storyline. What there, there, there. There is a storyline. They love him. He hates them. I see. <laughs> That's the story. <laughs> oh, fuck like you and fuck your shirt is essentially the whole story. Yeah. Got you. This is how the show begins, really. Oz gives a back kick. Camera cut. She does a back fist. Camera cut. She starts to run. Camera cut. She gets a hip attack. Camera cut. She drops to her knees. Camera cut. She throws a kick. Camera cut. She stands up and screams. Camera cut to people brawling on the floor. I was furious. Do you understand? I wanted to shut the show off and not watch anymore. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. 
Don't miss out. Join us today.